Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now Kirby of Schofield Realty is back and today it is all about winning the bidding war. It's going to get intense. But first, the first bidding war we're going to talk about oh, yeah. is working for you. Yes, uh, <laughs> we need more agents because yeah. we got many clients and many homes to sell. Well, Ooh. not as many homes to sell now. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, so that's, that's what we're going to You want to elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, so our inventory has shrunk once again. It's yeah. uh, less than two months inventory like it was last year. Oh, wow. And the bidding wars have commenced. Okay, so, so explain what the concept is, a bidding war. Bidding war means you're a buyer, you want to get the house. There's okay. going to be multiple people trying to get it. So make sure that you are informed on what you're offering on mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you're qualified and ready because it's not just you offering on the home. We're in the last six months you've had kind of that freedom right right and yeah. having someone like you by their side guiding them through yeah. the process because what is the strategy so our strategy is we use data not what your mom and dad are telling you <laughs> to go and ask uh, <laughs> okay, not um, i'm a zillow flex partner in town very proud with zillow but the zestimate don't go off the zestimate ah. it's an estimate <laughs> okay. so that's another thing um but choosing a realtor call our team uh, we'll actually go through the data of what's sold and mm -hmm. what you're actually going to get on an appraisal. Okay. okay. So you actually know uh, it's what you can actually afford. All right. Now you have a few specific tips. So we're going to start here yeah. with should you offer on multiple homes? Uh, so how we write our contract, you are able to write uh, offers on multiple homes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And the reason we say that too is uh, you're going, you may get beat out on one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, at least you have a try at the others. And even if you get beat out on one. Another tip is if you're getting BA out, ask the other side to leave it as a backup offer. Mm, okay. In what case that escrow falls through. Well, what about paying appraisals up front? That's something. So paying appraisal up front is a strategy we do too, where uh, sometimes to be, if that seller's wanting more, and we may start seeing that again, where they're pricing it way over what we think the comps would be, mm -hmm. is pay for the appraisal up front and see where it comes in at before you do diligence, all your other contingencies start. The seller will like that because it sees the value, and then you can see if you're even getting it before the other contingencies, which could possibly lose your earnest money. Ooh, okay, and then you got they got to call you to get the tips on inspections, yes, protecting please. the amount you put in. For, it, there's a lot to learn. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Thank you, Kirby. And, thank you, Schofield Realty, thank you. for sponsoring this segment. All you got to do is visit SchofieldRealty.com or call 702-941-7202 for more information. That's a nice tattoo. That one line. Yeah. <laughs>